So, Pavy, you want to whine about the defensive rule change? Look, man, Go I ahead. hate the defensive rule change. I'm sorry. Like, look, look, man. I was watching uh, uh, Pistons, uh, Sixers, and the man in Mead had like 21 free throws in one half. And you, and you, like, you want to know why? Because freedom of movement. You can't even stop someone from coming across the lane anymore. He was fouling out every single human being. On the Pistons front line <laughs> because again, like, granted, I've seen him be in person. They should have traded Boban and Rodovich. And B might be the biggest human being I've ever seen him. If it, it, in, no, in Boban person. is no, I'm but like, yeah, have you seen? Oh, you, yeah, oh, I saw, I, yo, yeah, yo, I saw Boban. yo, yo, Pappy is gonna be covering the Clippers game on Monday as I official am, press. I, am, yeah, uh, I mean, I I'm am. sorry, as official Clippers yeah, press. Hoops and brews. We did yeah, it. We did it from a podcast. Yo, cheers to that, man. Yeah, yo, let's cheers to that on the show, yo. Yo, we official press members. Yo, shout out to all of the fans. Y'all made that happen for us. Um, you know, we were able to get the credential press. So, Pavi's going to the Clippers versus Minnesota Timberwolves game on Monday night. Um, Tuesday. Tuesday. On Tuesday, Tuesday night. I'm Tuesday, sorry. I'm Tuesday. sorry. I'm but, on Tuesday. But we're so, go dude, ahead. We're going to collab more. I'm going to quick. I'm going to let you go ahead in a second. Mad respect to you guys. Love the hustle. Love the podcast. We'll Thank do you, more man. of it. I know you guys want to be in the MMA world. On Monday, is Schmo. Real quick, we'll be Deontay Wilder, America's champ, WBC champion, heavyweight, biggest heavyweight Desert, match right. on the United States soil in the 21st century when you got Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder, 40-0, 39 KOs. 39 of those fights ended in knockouts. Bro, you knocked 39. Oh man, I will be at his open workout, Santa Monica here. I'll be thinking about you on that Monday night. When you're with the Clippers, shout out there. We'll be doing more collaboration word, in the word. fight scene. Just want to say it to everybody here first. Word. Go talk but, to me about your Clippers, but, my um, friend. But um, regardless, like just the just the lack of defense I'm seeing throughout the NBA, it's a little bit troubling to me. Like again, I understand you know for the casual fan, it's maybe way better to see a, you know a whole lot of threes and no defense. They don't really may may not understand the small little nuances of the game, but. For guys who are basketball purists, I think it just takes away from the aesthetics of the game. If you can't touch nobody, like, again, look at the top three league scores right now. Steph Curry, Kemba Walker, Dame Lillard, and then Embiid, I think, if I'm not Dame mistaken. Dame Lillard, dude. What team he play for? Portland. Oh, yeah, playoff team. Yeah. Portland. But, look, you can't touch anyone. Even Steph. Like, granted, he's, had, he's having an incredible season. But you can't touch him. You can't touch him. Like, what you going to do if you can't touch him? Kemba. Shout out Kemba. Kemba can hoop. 29 points. <laughs> 29 points It's very interesting to see How both the NFL And the NBA Have just completely Gone towards offense They just like, I, I don't it's, it's not I'm good not, for the game I, I, Look It's not I remember I was watching football Sometimes I'm like yo Terrible tackling Bad tackling Like I know they want to hurt nobody But terrible tackling Bad tackling Why do they have 41 points Why are so many games Going to overtime Like I don't like it They need to find a happy Look I, Look They need to find a happy Meetup between the two They do Somehow it's Like you It's Every game, the Kings put up 146 points the other day. Kings are looking good. They look good, but 146 points. 